Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Today we are gonna finish up Maribel. Maribel actually is, um, she's done. We just need to put her on a foam board. So I'm gonna just show you the beautiful features of Maribel. Um, okay, so first of all, just keep in mind she's not on a foam board, so she's super, you know, like flimsy right now. Um, I think one of my favorite features is definitely the pom-pom earrings. I mean, they're just so stinking cute. I'm going to turn it to the side so you can see her glasses. And I think you can see it right there that her glasses are not sitting flat on her face. So it's just all the little details that make her not a card, more than a cardstock project, right? We've got like movement. We've got uh, more of a 3D feel and more than cardstock. So this right here, this black embroidery piece for her shirt, um, that's HTV flock. And in person, it's got that velvet look and feel. It's just gorgeous. And it really does change. Um, you know, it gives you a different black on there that um, I think just does a lot for the project, even though it's just it's little, but it's all the details. Um, next up is the stitching, uh, her name. So... Um, you know, just like the movie, I, you know, I wanted to do a different pink, but this little piece right here had already gone through too much. <laughs> I changed out the colors, I glued it, I unglued it, you know, so I left it in there just for the sake of finishing this. But I think I would have liked it more if that, if that, if I chose a different pink, I didn't have the right thread and I should have, um, should have held out but anyway it's still you know it's still good all right the next part right here is well it's the stitching but these leaves in person you know that it's not cardstock so it is actually um sub sublimation flock from poly tape and this is also poly tape it's um it's the flock the black flock um but this is subly so sublimation subly flock so what that means is you can actually use sublimation on this htv so i used artist breeze sublimation markers to really give me the colors that i wanted but also that it wasn't um cardstock that it had that look and feel of fabric to it so we know that it works so i'm super excited ah she's bending over then we've got the tassels down here that have the movement i mean i just love it so all right um let me put her down <laughs> she's so big i'll flip the camera i don't even remember if i asked you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed please do <laughs> so that i can do crazy projects like this um all right so let me move that out of the way i'm gonna flip us over all right, so I always use the Dollar Tree foam board, uh, you know, to make it sturdy and you can prop it up like all my other characters back there. But with her being four feet tall, we needed to make sure that um, she supported because you can see as I was holding her, it was quite a chore. And unless you're going to taper to the wall or something, uh, she needs support. So we're going to be doing two foam boards. The foam boards are 20 by 30 inches. So two of them will give us 40 by 60, which will be plenty, right? Because we needed 48 inches. Um, and I already had to rig that, that piece just to move her around while I was working on her. So what you need is you need to turn on your hot glue gun. You need two foam boards. And this is gonna be hard. You're not gonna be able to see the whole thing because I just don't have the space to show you. But, okay, this is what you're gonna do. Do you see how these two pieces right here, you're gonna put them together. You're gonna squeeze hot glue gun and I'm gonna turn it to the side. Let me see if I can do this this way. Hopefully. You're gonna see a little bit of it. So right now it's at an angle, which is not good because we want this to be flat, right? But I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm just gonna run it along this line. It's okay that it's popping out because we're gonna, once, it, once it's more stable and it's in there, then we will, we can make sure that there's more glue and that it's stable. So you see, I lifted it up. Oh, there we go. And it's kind of hard right now to show you, but 
you know, it dries quickly, right? But once it dries, you need to keep it straight. Otherwise, it's just going to crack apart. So I'm going to have to move this to the floor eventually. So I'm going to be talking you through the rest of it. So you see how the glue is like this? You do it the whole line, right? Then you flip it over, or you can do it on this side, depending on how bad this looks. It doesn't matter because the, you know, Maribel is going to sit on top of it. But what you're going to want to do is get some wooden dowels. And I have some right here, but hold on, let me get to it. Uh, oh man, okay, sorry. It's like the project's blocking like all my drawers, okay? <laughs> so these are the wooden dowels also from the Dollar Tree. And what you're gonna do is you're going to do it across a few of them maybe four to four to six of them okay and you're gonna now glue this down so that the boards don't want to bend it's not easy for it to bend over because we've got these things propped up okay and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put Maribel down lay her flat take a white pencil and you're gonna trace around her and this might be easier to also after you hear me talk about it to actually go and watch a different foam board tutorial where it's a smaller one and you can see it. So you put her down, right? So I'm gonna draw maybe right here. You trace around her, obviously she's much bigger than this, right? <laughs> but you trace around it and you're gonna take your X-Acto knife and cut inside the lines. As long as you cut inside the lines, it's not gonna go past your character, right? And it will give you the support. She is very, you know, she's like a nice, if you think about how she is, granted, she's got her hand out and the skirt comes out of a little bit. But if you had to pick a shape for her, she is a tall and skinny rectangle. So as long as that rectangle, if you think about it, is mostly supported, she will stand and she will stay propped up against the table. So you need to make sure that the wooden dowels are in place so that your foam board doesn't bend over easily. If we're really good about this, this is what I would do. And I'm probably gonna do it because I want to keep this as like something I'm gonna show in my art room a lot and reference her, is you're gonna put the sticks down like this and do another set of foam board on top. So you're gonna be cutting two foam boards. And so what I would do is I would shift her. So like on this first foam board, let's say this middle part right here, is her skirt, okay? On the next foam board, don't put the same skirt right here. Lift her up a little bit so that it, you're not bending at the same part. Although with this thing, you could bend at the same part. Um, sorry, I'm thinking. Um, if you do, so what I would do is I would cut it at a different part. Okay, so I would shift her up or down. We have the room because we now have 60 inches, right? And she's only 48 inches. So we can shift her up or down a little bit. So maybe the next one have this part where, um, where her shoulders are, let's say, or, you know, a little bit, maybe not so high. I don't know if we'll have enough room if we do that there. But where you have that, do more dowels. So you're gonna have two sets of dowels on here, the foam board, two sets of foam board, and then put her on top. She should be very, very stable. And that will also make it easier for you to put her down because the foam board is gonna sit on top. So the dowels are in between the two foam boards, then she's gonna go flat onto a foam board. So it will be easier for you to lay her down and glue her down. So that's definitely what I'm gonna be doing. And um, I just can't show you, it won't fit. I won't be able to cut this. I'm gonna be cutting this on the floor actually, cause it's just so big. Um, so, all right, that's all that there is to it. Catch me on Instagram. You're gonna see a ton of pictures. If you're not an Instagram person, then you can go to my website, theuselesscrafter.com, and it's gonna have all the tutorials, the links to the tutorials, all the links to the materials, and all the pictures. And I will be taking lots of pictures of this foam board so that you can see that step by step. Um, I know I talked you through it, but I promise you, it's if you follow those instructions and watch another foam board tutorial, 
you will be able to do it and it is a very simple part. This project, I would say, just took a long time because I wanted to experiment with all the details, but also because she was so big. Every time I did something, it was moving a lot of pieces before I can even get to it. So um, tag me though, I wanna see it. Tag me if you have questions. Um, I'm super excited to have finished this project with you guys and I need my next big project. So let me know in the comments what you wanna see. All right, bye guys.